Hi folks, Basil Chapman here. Yeah, this is Thursday, the 9th of June. We're looking at the Dow down 165 at 32,747. Question I had earlier during my show uh, from a, a Tiger TV YouTube um, was how long can the stalk formation, this oval pattern last? It becomes a rectangle if it goes for too long. But in the meantime, as it stands right now, I would say two things. One is a close underneath the low of three days ago, which is uh, 32,641 in the Dow, would suggest uh, things are changing a little bit, but it's really a close under 32,500. It says, whoops, negated completely. Uh, other things can happen, but that this pattern will be failing. If it holds in this narrow range, and there's a break by Friday or Monday into the 32,273 or higher area, that is great. All right, let's go on. We've got the S. So the Dow right now is down 150 at 32,753. The S&P is uh, S&P just lost it. S&P is down uh, 20 at 40, 000, uh, 4,095. Yeah, this is the same thing that low of three days ago. If that gets taken out, you've got to be really careful. They're looking at the QQQ, the NDX 100 trading vehicle, down 94 cents at 306.71. It really needs 312 and very soon because if it goes under 303, oh, that's going to be not good at all. IWM, Russell 2000, pulling back down to at 185. You're looking at gold. Gold was down earlier and it's still down. It's down 12 points, 11 points at 1845. Peak D just struggling at the 200 period moving average. I just had a discussion about how important 200 period moving averages are. Look at this. It couldn't break and hold above it at 1868 and it's, it's down below it looking at crude oil crude oil is pulling back just a tad 12 cents big deal at 121.97 it is still a place that's in on fire well i shouldn't really say that but it's the place to be but it is getting other other technical situations say it could have a high level consolidation any break into the 125 says uh oh that's going to be serious for the general market looking at the tlt TLT is once again down. Heels are going high, 113.88 in the TLT. Now, let's real quickly, the VIX index uh, on the day, the VIX is now at 24.60. By the end of the day, certainly tomorrow, if the VIX is trading in the 25.90 or 26 areas and the Dow is down really triple digit, sharp down triple digit, that's a big problem. But if all of a sudden we're seeing some amelioration of the tensions and the Dow by later, to, well, I, I expect the Dow to come back a little bit by the end of the day, waiting for the report tomorrow. We'll see what happens. But in the meantime, that volatility index is going to be really important because if it starts to trade in the low 23s next week, that's going to be a big positive.